among God mixes your weirdness and humor. Kitaro mixes horror, weirdness and humor in a unique formula. The main character, Kitaro, is a strange little boy whose father lives in his eye socket. In fact, his father is an eye with a tiny body, arms and legs underneath. And that's just a start of the unusual stuff in here. In each chapter, Kitaro finds himself going on various adventures or showing up for various boss situations. He helps one boy get his soul back. He sends some bad guys to hell. If we're drunk, they're still alive. His hand get cut, gets cut off from his body, but the hand is still able to write a note and return to the temp rest of Kitaro. All the stories were originally published between 1965 and 1967, with most of them released during 1966. Various mythical creatures show up, and not just Japanese ones, some western favorites like Dracula and Frankenstein's monster were also in these pages. But the manga deals with all these horror tropes. It's never scary. It's immersive, odd and amusing. It has some echoes with numerous American horror stories. Things like the Adams Family or the Monsters come to mind. Yet guitar is different enough. It's not really like them either. Part of what makes the story so silly is Misoki's steel and artwork. He's great at making cartoony, ridiculous monsters. At the same time, he's masterfully, masterfully skilled at very detailed, realistic artwork. So sometimes you see these cartoony characters with a background that isn't cartoony at all. But rather looks like an intensely naturalistic and beautifully specific drawing. An introduction gives background history of Kitaro, and there's also information on the yokai characters in the back. He has been very popular in Japan, which may lead to a Kitaro haunted house, and it's great to see it published with such care in America.